Hey guys, welcome to your um, love reading for uh, Leo. This is going to be for your November 2023. You can apply this to your um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What are their true feelings and intentions are uh, towards you? So we're going to take a look at someone that you're dealing with, with dealing with. It could be someone new, old, current. Apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch stories if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective. Um, for the collective uh, Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, um, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Um, I do also uh, post readings on there too. So Leo, tell me about Leo here. What's going on with Leo? What's going on with Leo? The person that Leo is dealing with, thinking of, what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo for uh, November 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. Look at the Six of Wands and the Six of Swords. Uh, I, I feel like things are pretty balanced between you and your person. Things are going smoothly. Things are going pretty well. Uh, perhaps someone here is viewing the situation here as, you know, you know, very successful, very balanced here. Yeah, lots of sixes here. So I feel like you guys could be seeing a lot of synchronicities like sixes, Gemini energy here. The King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, whoever this is, I feel like this person is like definitely ready to like, you know, marry you, be together with you. If you guys are not at that point yet but if you guys are like married you guys are like together you know things are going pretty well think like i said things are pretty balanced here with the sixes okay we have the wheel of fortune and the magician yeah I, I do feel like things are going really well i do feel like there's like really good karma surrounding you and your person here you know i do feel like you know um you know whatever you guys have manifested you know i do feel like it's happening it, i do feel like it's materializing here so whoever this is yeah this is an individual you know i do feel like this is an individual that's very spiritual that has a lot of knowledge and wisdom you know and uh you know i just feel like things are like I said, it's smooth sailing here with the Magician and the Five of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune here and the Page of Cups. One of the things I'm getting here is I, I, I do feel like there has been people that has tried to get in between of your relationship with you and your person here. But, you know, I just feel like they they won't be able to. They've tried. You know, I just feel like you guys have a strong enough bond where nothing will break you guys. Even if, you know, people are spreading rumors trying to break you guys up. You know, spreading rumors around town on social media. Tell me about the uh, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the King of Pentacles here, and the Ace of Swords. Tell me about the uh, Lovers here. Why is the Lovers here? And the Page of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Interesting. Some of you guys could have children here. Children from separate marriages, though. Okay, uh, but you guys might even have ch like two, if it's not separate mar marriages, it could be that, yeah, you guys might have two children here and yeah, things are going pretty well. <clears throat> things are going pretty well. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is always just really generous with their energies with you. I feel like this person's very loving, very caring, very charming, very adventurous, you know, very fun. All right. But like I said, there are people that trying to like, there hasn't people that's trying to like step in and, you know, break you guys up, but it's just hasn't worked um what else do we have for for leo what else does leo need to know what that for work on for november 2023 sun moon rising venus signs <clears throat> with the four of pentacles and the six of cups you know with the four of pentacles and the six of cups i feel like that this is an indication that perhaps you guys have known each other for a very 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 long time you know, it could be that with the Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, there could be a past like soulmate connection. Um, I do feel like in this situation, I do feel like this is someone that you've been dealing with for a very, very long time. But you could also apply it to like, okay, this could be a new person that's coming in or that's come into your life and things are just going really, 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 really well. Okay, with the Nine of Cups here. Yeah, you know, there's happiness, there's fulfillment, there's passion, there's love, there's truth. There's transparency here between you and your person. Yeah, I, yeah, I would say things are going pretty fine and dandy here with the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups here. There's equal give and take between you guys. I do feel like you guys do have uh, quite a bit of similar personalities here. 
okay? Uh, just very grounded individuals here, Leo. Let's just see. Tell me about the Queen of Cups here. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Queen of Cups and the Ten of Wands, the Six of Pentacles here, and the Sun. Um, the only thing here, Leo, you know, I do feel like... I do feel like this person definitely feels a little bit burdened or something like that. So if this person's doing too much, you know, help this person out. Yeah, I think that's the only drawback here or that's the only issue that I'm seeing here because I feel like, um, I do feel like, you know, there uh, it's, uh, you know, someone's feeling the weight of the relationship on their shoulders because it could be a situation that, you know, it, it's li like little things, maybe like kind of like cleaning up after yourself, you know, kind of like, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, one person's coming up with more date ideas and then the other person's not. You know, someone's definitely taking a little bit more initiative here. So I feel like this person needs a little bit of help. You know, the Ace of Wands here and the Three of Wands, this person definitely sees a future here with you. The Nine of Cups here and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Yeah, you guys are really both tr very truthful and honest with each other here when it comes, especially with this queen, when it comes to their feelings here, okay? Uh, but yeah, I do see this actually, you know, going pretty far. The Six of Cups here and the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, the Four of Pentacles, and the Death card here. This is a very adventurous and, a, and spontaneous connection, okay? I do feel like the communication between you guys are pretty strong. And I do feel like, you know, when it comes to this connection, I do feel like it's a very transform transformative connection where there's a lot of changes, a lot of growth and expansion. And I feel like this could be very healing for you guys too, okay? So it looks like this is going really, 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 really well, Leo. Let's see, I'm going to pull a few more here. With a ton of swords, with a queen of pentacles, okay? And the moon. And the king of cups, we have the king to the queen of cups, we have the um, king, uh, king to the queen of pentacles here. You know, I, I do feel like there's one person here that it still holds on to a lot of trauma, pain from the past here. And, you know, I feel like this person is not really expressing it. Maybe that's, some, that's something that you need to know. But genu genuinely or generally, the, the person that you're dealing with here uh, is actually a very kind and nice and, uh, and, and a good person. I really don't feel like this person is like has any sort of like bad intentions or anything like that. Okay? So, Leo. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.